Oh no, that's the play, yeah. Actually, we've already seen this book, that's okay. It's worth a lot, we can sell it. You know what? That's... What, Courage costs 12, and then, what does Rally cost? 35? Yeah, we, we, we recover fast enough, we can favorite that. As a matter of fact, let's uh, let's change three to rally. <laughs> All right, let's go get this dragon. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can get his attention here. Yeah, you know what, the range on light, even though Lightning Bolt is instant, the range is limited. It'll dissipate after a certain distance, whereas like a Fire Bolt or an Ice Bolt um, will actually keep going. So maybe I should, since I'm not getting close to him. Yeah, he's too far away. But maybe if I just fire a bunch of random Ice Bolts at him in his general direction, one of these, one, one of them will accidentally hit. So let's see, let's try that. Ice Spike. Whoa, did that work? Nice! Whoa, this guy's got a name! Vulchonak! Wait, are you- who are you? An assassin? Why do we always- why does this always happen to us? Somebody always jumps in and interferes. Oh, kill this guy, Lydia, are you kidding me? Oh, you let him get away! Come here, you scaly bastard. Lydia, where's she? What is he doing? That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. That was another excellent dragon fight. I had a lot of fun with that. And we leveled up! Alright! Level 25! Here we are. Excellent. Okay. Let's check in on destruction magic. We haven't looked in there for a while. Maybe we can get something good. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, we can now afford augmented shock too. Um, and uh, some additional perks, nice. All right, shock spells do 50% more damage, nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Hmm. Nice. So our shock spells are going to do even more damage now. Uh, let's go in ahead and loot um, this this named dragon, Vulyotnak. Vulyotnak. I wonder why he had a name when some other dragons don't. Um, in any case, he was a pretty serious badass, right? But we took him down, one spell at a time. Let's see what he had on him. Bones, some scales, some gold. Interesting. An orcish mace, some armor. Neither of which are worth very much. Alright. Nice. Nice. Alright. Lydia. I've got your back. I need to trade some things with you. 
I am sworn to carry your burdens. Damn straight. All right, let's give her whatever she'll take. Okay, nice. That's so cool. We found a glass dagger. That's that's really interesting looking. I lo I really like the um the the models for some of the weapons in this game. Look at this one. Like it's it's razor razor thin. It's really cool. Of course, if you read the lore, um, uh, especially the lore about smithing, the, the, you know that this is actually not glass in the traditional sense. It's actually got such a high lead component, or or rather a metal component, that it's much more like it acts much more like a metal than a glass. It's called a glass dagger because of the way it looks. But that's a really cool looking dagger. That does more damage than soul biter, so I may save this um, to enchant with a better soul trap spell and use as my new um, soul harvesting. A weapon. That's that's really cool. I really like that. Okay, anyway. Uh, Lydia's carrying all the all the dragon bones and stuff. Let's see what this is over here. Huh. It's a it's a dragon burial ground. So maybe Alduin rose him or raised him from this barrow and he was circling it sort of like um as this was his territory. So maybe Alduin came by here and uh and rose the undead dragon Voltnajak or whatever his name was. Uh, from this barrow, but now that we've killed him and absorbed his soul, there will be no coming back again. Um, he's done now. Completely and totally done. So anyway, originally, we were trying to find, uh, what was it called? Right, Ilanata's, Ilan Ilanalta's Deep, to see if we could recover Azura's Star. So let's, let's, um, now that we've, uh, dealt with this set of dragons that was, uh, harrying the countryside, um, to great personal expense and uh, glory. Let's continue now on towards um, Ilanalta's Deep. So, uh, let's see. I should be able to mage GPS that bad boy. Which way do we go? This way, it looks like. Is that right? Oh, okay, yeah. It looks like we're going to cut down here. Okay. That is such an amazing spell. I really like that. That's a really cool effect there. And if it is AoE, that's extra bonus because I can use it next time we do a Civil War quest and like buff a bunch of guys. It was sad we had to kill that giant, but like once the battle started, it was sort of inevitable that he would get really upset and aggressive. Okay, so we're searching for Ilanalta's Deep. Looks like we got some uh, some wolves here. What's going on? I hear a bunch of thrashing. Huh. And what are these guys? Wait a minute, is that an Imperial? Citizen, I'm warning. Your presence is interfered. Free prisoner? A Stormcloak soldier, I have to free this guy. He's my friend and ally. Fight. Dalos guide you. Yeah, get to safety, friend. One more man to join the fight to liberate Skyrim from the corrupt empire. Okay. Pleasant little diversion. Uh, I don't know what share items was about, but, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, no! No! You bastard! 
Oh, no! Oh, there was a third member of the escort and our friend died! Oh, I feel like such a... such an ass! Damn you! Damn you, Imperial! I didn't kill you fast enough! Oh, this poor soldier, we tried to save him. He fought for his life. And that damned Imperial stabbed an unarmed man in the gut. Oh, that makes me furious. Alright, it looks like Illinalta's, uh, deep is up here somewhere. Must be near here somewhere. Riddleshin Pass? Oh, wait a minute. How did I get up there? Wasn't I supposed to go... Alright, let's see if I can... Can I climb this mountain? Unlikely. Hmm. Alright, well... The goal was to get to Brito... To, um... To <laughs> Illinois Deep. But I somehow went the wrong way. Maybe I'm supposed to go through the pass. It is called a pass, so let's let's see if we can get through here and come out the other side rather than trying to climb over the mountain. I'm gonna save the game right here. Okay. What is that? There's like a uh, a. There's some sort of gem hovering on a platform down there. And I see a bunch of skeletons in the, in the background as well. Let's go check this thing out. What is it? Oh. It's a trap. It's a turret or whatever. It's a good thing we took it out. Lydia, deal with this riffraff, please. Thank you. Wow, that friggin' disintegrated him. That was hilarious. Alright, so it seems like probably this is the way to go. Ascendant Necromancer, that's no good. Shit. Damn it, Lydia, get out of the way. That guy was a pretty tough mage. What is he doing here, anyway? He summoned something? He summoned it inside the cage so it couldn't attack us? What, what an idiot. Okay, um, well... Alright. Found an Ascendant, uh, Necromancer. Put him down. That's always a good thing. Let's see, did he have any loot lying around? Oh yeah, he's got an enchanting table here, he's got some books. Ooh, Orcish Dagger of Diminishing, that's interesting, we'll look at that. Warrior's Charge, Conjuration Book, nice. The Arcturian Heresy, alright, let me look at that weapon real quick. Orcish Dagger of Diminishing. Ooh, 30 points of magic damage, nice. So we'll sell that, probably. Um, in any case, I was hoping to get through the pass at least, but we're almost out of time here. In fact, I, yeah, we're, we're going over now. So screw it, it's going to be a two-hour episode now. Because <laughs> I want to at least, at least... I uh, want to at least get to uh, Azura's Star. Or not, uh, the, um... Uh, Ilan Ilanalta's Deep. Yeah, that's what it was called. A lot of names in this game.